In a previous video, we went to Jackrabbit Phillies and had their dim sum brunch. It was amazing. Everything on the menu was delicious. Well, they've opened a second restaurant called King Barbecue, which draws its inspiration from New York Chinese barbecue. They supposedly have amazing meats and really unique cocktails. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. King Barbecue officially opened their doors on October the 8th, 2023, and they've been taking off ever since. Those two massive lions you saw at the entrance were actually shipped here from China. The Wang family, the owners of Jackrabbit Philly, got together with Brandon Olson, a North Carolina pit master, to bring a unique fusion of Chinese barbecue with a North Carolina flair. When you arrive, you place your order at the counter, both your drinks and your food, and you're given a numbered placard for your table. The staff here are very friendly and accommodating, and are willing to take the time to explain any dishes you have any curiosities about. The environment inside is relaxing and inviting, and let me tell you, for a brand new restaurant, this place was really brimming with customers. They have their own dedicated parking lot to the side, as well as parking across the street, so there's plenty of places to park your car when you come here to enjoy a nice meal. So when you come in, you place your order, you pick your table, and you sit down and get ready for a wonderful experience. This is their peanut butter and jelly shot, which is really interesting because the berries came first in the taste, but then you got a back note of peanut butter on the back side of it. This is the good old fashioned lover boy, which is named after a queen song and is their playful take on an old fashioned. It had a very nice flavor and it paired very well with our meal. The shimmy shimmy ya is their take on a martini with a nice spicy heat kick at the end of it. It was quite tasty and it packed a nice boozy punch to it. This drink does proper credit to ODB. The Bullet with Butterfly Wings takes its name from a Smashing Pumpkin song. This cocktail is a little sweeter than the first two and has that nice Loganberry flavor to really bring the taste home. The Wonderwall cocktail takes its name from an Oasis song. This drink is nice and citrusy with its chrysanthemum tea and lemongrass. We all thought it was funny too how ginormous the straw is they put in this drink. For our first starter, we had one of their more popular items, their shrimp toast sliders. I highly recommend this appetizer. The shrimp toast was nice and crispy and all the flavors really came out strong. And since it's so light and airy, it's not going to ruin your appetite for the meal ahead. Up next, we tried their Disco Fries, which is a playful take on poutine. I really appreciated the cut on the potatoes. Instead of being your standard fries, they were potato wedges, which really held in all that hash and gravy and cheese. It was a little chilly outside today, and this rated as a perfect comfort food. My son went with the pulled pork sandwich, but it had a delightful Asian flair. The barbecue sauce was sweet and tangy, and they were very generous with the meat on this sandwich. This sandwich was packed with meat, and who doesn't like a nice bag of voodoo chips? Nothing says barbecue more than a pulled pork sandwich, and this pulled pork sandwich hit it out of the park. He was extremely pleased with the choice that he had made. My daughter-in-law went with the barbecue meats on noodles, which comes with a protein of your choice. And for her protein, she chose the five spice rotisserie chicken. 
The five spice chicken had a nice heat on it, and the noodles were nice and tender, and the bok choy rounded out the dish perfectly. Now I absolutely couldn't resist getting the spare ribs. They were nice and meaty and juicy and full of flavor. And what you're looking at here is a small portion. I'm glad I didn't get the large portion. I mean, they gave you quite a bit with just the small portion. My whole table shared these and let me tell you, nobody at the table was disappointed. They were my second favorite item on the menu, but let me show you my all time favorite item on the menu. Now let me preface this by saying that duck is not something I normally order on a menu. A lot of times it can be gamey or greasy, but this duck blew me away. The breast was a nice sized portion, had nice perfect slices all throughout it, and you can see all those herbs and spices piled on top of it. The meat was succulent and tender without the slightest bit of gaminess to it or greasiness whatsoever. As you can see by this close up, it was very juicy. All in all, a great experience and I would highly recommend that if you come to this restaurant, make sure you get the duck breast. King Barbecue is a new restaurant on the block, but it won't be long before this place becomes a local favorite. The food is delicious, the service is wonderful, but be sure to pack your appetite. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.